I don't want to look like this. That's literally someone's house. I don't like doing. We got some options. We ain't trying to listen. Wagwan, I should take my hair down, but I do plan on working out, so I don't want to take it down quite yet. Wagwan, I have to say. Welcome to another vlog. Oh my gosh. Last week was like a, a strange one because I was going to Puerto Rico. Hopefully you've already watched that vlog. Hopefully you already watched that vlog. If not, make sure you do that. Do that. Do that. It is Tuesday, March 23rd. And... I'm applying a lip balm to my lips. This is Biosance Squalene. I can't read it backwards. Squalene and Rose Vegan Lip Balm. I should have gathered my thoughts before I turned the camera on. That would have been helpful. That would have been pretty helpful. Got my hair braided. You sweat out on IG if you follow me on IG. If you don't, make sure you follow me on IG. And yes, I will do not less next time. I just did not have the time for it to take any longer than it already was. But I love how the braids came out and they don't hurt me like I expected. Granted, when you flip it up to go up, it hurt, but Otherwise, it doesn't hurt like I expected. It's almost a week, it'll be a week tomorrow. Anyway, I'm about to hump, hop onto my better help, what you call it, video therapy chat situation. It's almost a year on better help and I pay on my own and it's been really, really great. She's in San Antonio, so the counselors are gonna be in your area. And I found out about better help because I love listening to Sarah Jakes Roberts. And she stayed with it, she stayed with a sponsorship, honey. And I'm not mad at her about it, okay? She's been sponsored by better help for a long time now. And I love how they do give you that discount. It's just really good. I've enjoyed it. And it's video chat. I don't have to leave my house. You can do your comp your video meeting from anywhere really. You can do voice call if you wanted to but I like the video it's good to just see the person and vice versa you need therapy even those of you who feel like oh I'm I'm good like I don't have any problems I bet you, you do you know I do encourage you to look into it because even the best of us could use a therapy session or two you know don't wait until you're in crisis before you reach out and get therapy okay don't wait until you're in crisis that ain't gonna do you any good fixing my camera. I just got this in the mail too, really quickly from Ellis Brooklyn. It's called B O De Parfum. I don't remember even communicating with them. I've been getting so many emails, bless God. I don't remember, but I do, so, you know, sometimes companies will share our information with other companies. So, you know, that could be what happened here. This fragrance reminds me of Sol de Janeiro, Brazilian Bum. Ooh, it has, it's magnetic. That's cool. I like it and it's yellow, so it just reminds me of that so much, but this smells really, really good. So thank you to Alice Brooklyn for sending this to me. And this is apparently going to be in Sephora very soon, love that. I just finished my cup of coffee, and you know, you've seen these mugs time and time again. Very good, very good. And I have my water. I need to actually get another one of these. I got back yesterday from Puerto Rico. I'm so tired, but life goes on and work does not stop. So after this session, I have to really get some things done before I go pick me up from school at four. Here she is. Alrighty, check it. Mic check one, two. I'm editing a video right now. This is actually my LYS Beauty first impressions video from weeks ago, but I'm just now getting to it. Hello. Matter of fact, I need to oil my scalp. I'm sitting here rubbing it like this. This is too much. This is what my, this is not really, what is this? My hair braider used this and recommended it. So I bought it on Amazon. We'll link it below in case you have braids or whatever, locks. And you want to use this? I need to put some on my scalp because it's been a week and I've put nothing on it. My scalp is not flaky. It's not filthy. It just feels like it needs something. I digress. Closer than anything. Closer than the air I breathe. Closer than anything. Oh my gosh, what is up? I just finished doing an IG live with Fumi Ford and it was my first live in so long, like just my own casual live. And that conversation went all kinds of directions. I was not expecting it to be that deep of a conversation, not to mention I shed a few tears just talking about what I do and, and my purpose and you talking about you and how just the connection, the sisterhood that I feel with my platform. And I wish I had recorded it like here. I didn't think it was gonna go that direction. Ever since I came back, it's been nonstop. I did not factor in any kind of time off at all, so. Never mind, never mind all the stuff that you've been worrying about. Never mind, never mind all the people trying to bring you down. The things that's been going on I just wanna never mind, never mind Right now it's time to thank him Thank you Lord for all you do for me For all you've done for me For how you love me Thank you Lord for how you care for me You always there for me You said you never leave I just wanna never mind, never mind All the things going on in my mind Never mind, never mind Right now just 
one and again, one and again. Ooh, I'm listening to church service right now. Hold on. Oh, I love this song so much. So I'm about to start going back to church in person. I'm so grateful for that. And it's been a year. Okay. Is this crooked? Bless the Lord. Because he healed my heart and changed my name. Forever free. I'm not the same. I thank the master. I thank the savior. Oh, thank God. We talked a little bit about this on the IG Live. Like, this is, oh, man. You know, what the Lord has done in my life, I can't. I can't. There's no way that I cannot give him the glory whenever I, it, it comes to my mind, you know? I'm listening right now to my church, Hope City. Like I was saying, I'm going to start going back to church. It's been a year. It's been. It's just so strange to have having not gone for a year, but I'm about to start going back because this mass stuff ain't going anywhere. So we just gotta do what it do and... That it would take this long to take these braids out. I don't know how long it's been, but for me, it's been long enough. I hate this. Wow. I did not tell me that. And I am so like, what? How long is it going to take me? And here I am thinking, oh, I'm going to do braids all summer. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because already, I just want to wash my hair. I just want to clean my scalp. And I've been using that Cantu product, which really is good. But you just know me. After a few days or at least a week, I want to change my nails. After a week, I want to change my hairstyle. Maybe even during the week. I like to change my hair I like to change my nails I just love the change I love the difference I'm not about looking the same feeling the same for weeks on end I just get like ugh. so if I do braids again I just decided it's gonna be cornrow because I haven't had cornrow in probably 20 years so I look forward to that something that I can take out real easily because these are cute but wow I mean if I ever did these again which I know I will because they were really really cute if I do these again I'm gonna just have to hire someone to come help me to come out Literally, pay you by the hour. Maybe it'll take us two hours. I don't know. And help me because I'm dreading this right now. And I'm only, what, I've taken out maybe eight or something. I can't believe it. I don't even know how long this is going to take me. I definitely would need the help to take these out because, wow, somebody come rescue me. Somebody come get me. Somebody come help me. Somebody do something. <laughs> My hair's long, so it's taking me longer because it's not like I can just cut it right here. My hair is, like, look at this one. This piece right here. My hair's down here. So I have to cut these long, which is making, taking it out. Uh, Wagwan, good morning. It's just saying, how is everybody doing? Look at the sun coming in on the kid today. Listen, I have this much left to take out. I did that yesterday. I hate taking out braids. What the heck? I'm so annoyed. I had an awesome call with a brand that I wanted to tell you about. It's interesting because in this field of work, because it really is in some ways a self-made type of job and we don't we don't report to a manager or a company, we're all independent contractors. Very easy to be under, what's the word I'm trying to say? Like, it's very easy to not know what incarnation you doing, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. So it's very easy for people to just be taking it kind of willy-nilly. And I, given my background, I studied business undergrad. I went to graduate school to study working in, excuse me, to study higher education administration. I've worked in schools. I've worked in colleges and universities, private universities. I've worked in private high schools, so secondary education. I just come from a very professional background. And as a black woman, I've been in a lot of spaces dominated by white people. And I've always had to be on my P's and Q's, speak professionally, behave professionally, represent myself well, and really pull my own weight. Because again, a black woman in majority white Spaces. With that being said, I had I, I come into this influencer world with a very different perspective and background. And it shows, and I say this because professionalism is really important to me because I had no choice, but I'm actually glad I had no choice because it really is the way to go. When it comes to working with brands and email communication and timeliness, and granted, stuff happens. Like I've had to ask for an extension on things, right? But brands know that we sometimes 
like don't like submit things on time so they pad dates like if they tell you something is due friday excuse me if they tell you something is due monday they know that that thing is not due to thursday or friday but they've got to do that just in case life happens and we don't send things in on time but i really do want to talk about this because if you are an influencer or if you're just curious about what this all this what all this is about it's really really important to be professional to understand that things do get back and relationships with brand professionals are priceless and networking is important both on our level with other influencers and upward when talking with the brand professional. It really is important and it goes a long way. One thing I've learned over the past year is that what I do affects a lot of people. And I don't mean that when it comes to the audience, right? That's one way. But I'm referring to the brand people. So take, for instance, I get hired for a campaign and, you know, I have to complete X deliverables. Well, what I didn't realize for a long time is that there's there are other people that are going to be affected by whether or not I do a good job on this campaign. And now a good job is 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 uh, what subjective. We can always get into that at a different time. But there are other people who are going to either benefit or be in trouble based on what I do. So let's say, for instance, I, I sign on to a campaign and they ask him for want, 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 right? And then the due date is is this time. And I but I have to reshoot it. Now, uh, now that person has has to go to their superior and say ex influencer didn't do this whatever and we they have to go reshoot it and then you know depending on how flexible their boss is that boss could be ticked off or that boss could be like okay and we don't ever know I'm never we're never in on these conversations we don't know how this stuff goes but what I'm trying to say is what we do affects other people and it it can either help them like when we do a great job and really put effort into our content and do it well and go above and beyond it really could make that influencer manager stand out and shine in their team or at their at their corporation because the influencer they hired is doing such a phenomenal job or it can make that person look really bad if they hire you for something and then you do a half job and you just whatever you rolling in with whatever and then the whole thing is crap right then they gotta take this foolishness back to their superior or ask you to redo it or I don't know whatever right it just it just a, it's, it's a whole bad look it's a bad look all around because what we fail to realize is that even if you're working with you know James Smith at X brand that person may and will likely move on to another brand, be it a lateral move or be it an upgrade, be it a, an advanced a promotion at another brand. So now if you did a crappy job at X brand and you were like sloppy and, and careless or whatever, rude, who knows, right? To this brand manager, you might think, oh, well, you know, whatever, I'll, there'll always be more deals. Well, honey, let me tell you, people know each other. So just like if you're smart, you're networking with other influencers, say, on the brand side they're networking with one another or they might move on to a different brand so now here you are ishing on some brand and then you know you pop up and you want to work with next brand and you google what have you and then the person who's the influencer manager is the person you you crapped on at so and so brand like we just have to be very mindful of stuff like that it's just really important and i i'm reminded of that every day and if you're like me your brand is important to you because you as a person are a brand if you're an influencer if you're a creator you're a brand but you know what though even if you're not and you work in the corporate world in a different in a different field you are also a brand like you know in some depending on your your niche or excuse me depending on your field your name could get around as well like oh so and so is so hard working love her blah, blah blah or it could be like oh so and so is lazy so and so got an attitude so and so always coming in late whatever it is your name your brand your reputation travels and it's just so important to always be mindful of that and make sure that it's almost like a google search you know when somebody goes Google searches you, when somebody talks about you in a room, when someone is, is trying to find an influencer and your name comes up, what are what is going to be said? What are you going to find? What is going to be, what's going to come up is basically what I'm trying to get at. What is going to come up? Because I would hate for something bad to come up. Right. And I mean, I've made my mistakes in the beginning when I really didn't understand all of this. But as I continue to research more, I'm realizing this is really to be taken seriously. And this is what I was alluding to even on the four IG live about professionalism. It's just really, really important. It goes a long way. And 
although many people just fall into influencing and I in some ways fell into it as well. I do, however, have a professional background, worked in large corporations, presented to thousands of people, had to talk with and meet with parents who were millionaires and that kind of thing. And again, being a black woman, I had to... My battery died, jeez. It's just really important to be mindful about professionalism, even though this is a really fun, sometimes seemingly casual gig. It really is to be taken seriously and that's all. Today I really should take it easy because I've been working non-stop. Like I don't, what is, what is a day off? What is that? What does that mean? I do understand the importance of it, but oh, when you got goals and you working by yourself for yourself, what does that mean? Like people do that? It just sounds gross you know i'm exaggerating but i'm being serious it, it's i have so many goals and so many things and so many ideas and so many this and so many that and you know videos and like different things it's very challenging to just say okay today i'm not gonna do anything that anyway okay i finished taking out my hair praise his name i'm looking at the comments to my puerto rico vlog and i knew it was gonna be controversial but and that's okay because not everything has to be so easy peasy this is what we experienced i do want to clarify though that the plane ticket prices were not dirt cheap i paid 350 dollars for my plane ticket so that's not what i consider to be dirt cheap so for my flight in hotel it was around 640 dollars okay that's not dirt cheap to me going to mexico for a flight in hotel of 500 dollars which is all inclusive that's dirt cheap. So 350, 340, or whatever it was that I paid is not dirt cheap. I do want to clarify that. And I also made a comment and I'm actually gonna try to figure out how I can pin that comment. But I wanna be very, very clear. I do not think that all Puerto Ricans are racist. And I think I made that clear in the video. If not, I wanna be very clear right now. The same way some people might feel like black people are loud, they're ghetto, they're thieves, they're aggressive, they're they're dangerous. I would like to think that if someone has a bad experience with a black person they don't take that out on the whole entire black race just because we had some unfortunate experiences with some of the natives in Puerto Rico that does not mean that I don't like Puerto Ricans that does not mean that I'm so narrow-minded to think that all Puerto Ricans are bad people absolutely not I've been through too much schooling and I've been through I've worked in too many positions and been in too many encounters to have such a small narrow mind did we experience racism? Yes, we did. That does not mean that all Puerto Ricans are racist. It's just like if someone has, let's say I'm mistreated at a restaurant by a white server. Does that now mean that I think that all white people are racist? Absolutely not. That in some situations, they are or can be isolated incidents. It was our first time in San Juan. We had a great time despite all of the foolishness that we experienced, but we did experience racism and I'm not going to skirt around that. I'm not going to ignore that. It is a fact. And part of the reason for uploading the vlog, of course, because it was fun and funny, but it's important for other black people to understand what our experience was like if they're doing research on going to San Juan. It is unfortunate that what I saw was happening. I mean, I saw a video of black people in a club fighting. Now, does that happen in the US? Absolutely. Blacks fight in the club all the time in the US. So do white people. So do all kinds of other races of people. People fight in a club all the time. If you drunk and something goes off, something pops off, you're gonna fight. So my heart goes out to people who are living in those busy areas where, like I said, it gives you New Orleans vibes where you feel like, wow, Oh, this is this place looks like New Orleans or like wow this is a this is a restaurant or this is a coffee shop or this is a what have you and then you, you look and you're like oh my god that's someone's that's literally someone's house like that's someone's living room literally when we were what's the area La Placita area I'm not sure that's an area or a restaurant I'm not quite sure but we were in that vicinity and we're walking trying to go find somewhere to eat and then also try to find a taxi I was like wait that's somebody's living room so I get it there was so much going on the music the partying the, the drunk people the what have you I can definitely understand the comment of like, we get all these tourists and we're just recovering from the hurricane and people are making, a tr they're, they're trashing places and they're dancing on the streets and they're making all this noise till wee hours of the morning. I mean, there's, there's a curfew, but I can understand all of that. I wanna be very clear that I can understand all of that. And in all of our encounters, we made sure to be really respectful, to make sure we were tipping, to make sure we were being polite. But in some cases, our servers were not very friendly. I mean, like off the rip, it's like, Oh, okay, like that is, that is that.
up? Good morning. It is, it's Wednesday and I just finished shaving my face and you've seen me do this here on the weekly vlog. I included it in one of the weeks. So you got to go back and watch it. If you haven't seen it, I recorded this shave. I shave once a month. I recorded this shave for IGTV because it's been a while. I need to edit that. I was sitting here thinking, yo, I have so many videos that I need to edit. It's a good problem to have. The question is, when am I going to edit them? This, this one to my is from, I almost said Mexico. Puerto Rico, because I have two from Mexico. This one's from Puerto Rico. It came with a thing that I can put right here, but no need. I just tied it. So I did my nails yesterday. I didn't record it because I've done this set. I have several of these. I've done this set several times, so I didn't record it, but this is the nail set. I'm sure if you've been following my IG or following here, you've seen this set before. That's why I didn't record it, but you know, next time. So yeah, okay, so let me show you what I got. You know, I got the Brazilian bum bum cream. If you watched my San Juan Puerto Rico vlog, then you already know that I Brought this with me it's not finished but you can never have too much i purchased the fenty body bronzer situation 50 dollars. i didn't like it. it my skin looked like my skin i don't want blurring and i i know that that was part of what the whole purpose of the product is but i really wanted to be bronze and that wasn't what i experienced i experienced more like my skin or like makeup on my skin and i don't trust body products not transferring so i don't feel like putting on a body makeup that's possibly gonna transfer to my purse or my car or my clothes i don't want to deal with that so so I went and exchanged it and I got the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream because this stuff is so good. If you like fragrance, you're going to enjoy thoroughly this one. They have another one. I, I could have sworn they had a purple one. Like the container is purple, but when I went, they didn't have it. So I just said, okay, fine. They have one that's blue. It's more coconutty. I, I prefer this scent over that. And then they had one, was it like red? It was like a, almost like a, magenta, not magenta. It was like a berry type red. I wasn't too thrilled about that one. I like the original. It smells really good. And if you watch my fragrance video, which if you haven't, you gotta watch that, my fragrance haul. Since then I have picked up four or five new fragrances, but we that's neither here nor there. In that fragrance video, I talked about how I do have the fragrance of this, which is so good. So that's awesome because I can smell like this cream when I don't have the cream on because this is expensive. But I can get Sephora cart, okay? And then, okay, so Emily at the Sephora I went to, who was real chill, she was so helpful. I, she helped me understand NARS Creamy Radiant. I thought, that because of the name of it, that this was going to be a dewy type concealer. But she said, and comment and let me know if she's accurate. It looks creamy, radiant or whatever when you apply it, but it dries down matte. So I was like, wait, all these years that everybody and their mother is raving over NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, I have gone without. I have been deprived of the opportunity or the, yeah, the opportunity to experience the awesomeness. How nauseating is that? I thought that this was going to sit on my skin and look dewy. And you know, if you know me, you know I don't like dewy. I don't like dewy. I like matte. When I do my skincare, I do dewy. Like this is my skincare. I'm dewy. This is what I enjoy. My skin does not have makeup on it. When I have makeup on, I don't want to look like this. That's not what I want. So I was like, I'm not getting an art cream radiant, but girl told me that ain't how it goes. So this is one of my new products that I'm going to buy. This is the NARS Creamy Radiant and the color I got is what? Truffle. It's called Medium Dark 2.75 Truffle. So I cannot wait to use this. And while I was there, I was like, hold on a minute, Sephora. First of all, during the VIB sale, Sephora collection is going to be 30% off. I'm I'm done. I'm so irritated. I got a mailer and I was like, what? How did I not know this? I already picked this up. This is a Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation and I got the color Toffee Spice. I was looking at this and I was like, ah, I wonder because everyone who's anyone, is trying out the KVD Apple Bomb Hua Hua and Dian Dian, uh, product and they don't have it in store at where I went. So I was like, dang it. And I'm sick and tired of buying stuff online and it's my it's not my color match. So I'm not going to buy it online. So I suppose I'm just not going to use it. I wanted to try it out. You know what I'm saying? For y'all, but mm -mm, that ain't going to work out. So I saw this and I was like, how did foundation? Hold on. And now you can actually swatch in Sephora. I was surprised by that. Now they're back to allowing you to touch the samples and for you to swatch. I was like, oh, all right. So I opened this up. Wait, why does this look so light? This looks so light compared to, hold on. This looks so light compared to what I was looking at. Did I get the right one? Bless his name. I think I got the wrong one. What? It looked darker when I was there. Oh my gosh. This is gonna have to be for my under eye then. This is mad light. Oh no. So the, the tester looked darker because if I recall correctly, the shade up from this was very neutral and that's gray. That's not gonna work. Dang it. And this is very pigmented. It's actually really creamy and it is not like 
the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation, that's more to me powdery. This one is more creamy. So that means it's gonna have way more pigment. Dang, ugh. I hate having to go back and exchange all the time. I don't wanna be that person. I don't, dang it. I'm going to try it, but when I apply it, I'm going to stick to the middle of my face because when you highlight and all that, it does, your skin does look a little, this tone is a little different. So I'm gonna try it in the middle of my face, really focusing where my highlight is, not on the perimeter. We're not gonna be looking like Casper the Ghost. And I'm gonna see how this goes. Dang it. And it says right here, modern powder foundation with a creamy texture and buildable soft matte finish. It's true. This is very creamy. I mean, I was, I was very, very pleased. I do have in my cart a bunch of things waiting for April 9th because I'm Rouge and I need to get my Rouge 20%. I got Killian fragrance. I got all kind of stuff, girl, all kind of stuff, you know? I'm really into the replica fragrances. I recently got Jazz Club. I love the By the Fireplace. I want to get Killian. I want to try Princess or something else. Andrea Renee mentioned it in her video. I have it all in my wish list slash, yeah, my wish list because I already purchased something else. I actually purchased recently the Bum Bum Body Wash, so that's on its way. <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, I love me some Sephora. I don't know about you. Yo! <laughs> oh my God, so really fast. I was checking my email because email just has to be checked, right? And Sunday Riley, I partnered with them in the past and I've been using their stuff. I like, like for instance, their vitamin C moisturizer is vitamin C and a moisturizer. It's great, I love it. I been using it a lot in the morning time. And I got an email from them. That, okay, Sunday Riley is celebrating becoming B Corps certified by planting trees all around the world. Through one tree planted, Sunday Riley has planted a tree in California, an area devastated by wildfires in honor of Minadibia. Like what? Thank you for helping us make <clears throat> the world a greener place. Isn't that so cool? What does that mean? That's fantastic. I'm so grateful. Wow, Mary, I love it. I am grateful. I thank you. Okay, I am so annoyed because my hair. Oh. Okay, I'm running late. I'm about to go meet my friend Marie. I met her on IG and we're gonna have lunch today. I am so irritated because the hairstyle I had in mind. I spent how long letting this hair dry? I had done this half up, half down wash and go and the up part was a bun. That didn't work out. I did not like the shrinkage. I put this U-Pot wig on top of it and I was gonna do this thing that I saw on YouTube but I actually need to go back and watch the video again because granted I was in a rush and I was trying to do it. So of course I was under too much pressure to get it right. So it didn't come out how I wanted it to come out. And I had to abort mission on that hairstyle. And then I was like, I gotta put a wig on. So I put my hair back quickly. I need more hair scrunchies, first of all. I put this hair back quickly and then I threw the wig on, I spray water on it and here we are. So thank God for wigs, okay? This is the reason why, because nobody has time for hairstyles to not do what you need them to do and then to be looking stupid. So here I am, I threw on my Old Faithful. In being a healthy person, we need other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can imagine that there are some people enjoying our conversation right now. All right, I'm here. Shield and all, okay? We're doing the shield. That's what we're doing. Okay, we're out having lunch. I'm here with my girl, Marie. Hey, she's a She's a serious <laughs> blogger, but she's been kind of, you know, slack a little bit. I'm trying to figure bit. it out. I'm trying mm -hmm. to figure it out. Dang, the sun is really on my face. All my friends pulled up for good vibes. We know that the good vibes could bring on to some. All right, so I wanted to show you these, these items that I got in from Amazon. These are head scarves, very stretchy, very big fabric as well. Like, look how big this is. This is not even the whole entire thing. Here we have the stretch of it. Really, really good to tie your hair. You can tie it in like the front knot or wrap it around your head to go to bed. Love these, it comes in a four pack and there are different ones and different colors that you can purchase. I used to pick these up at the beauty supply. I had a few that were black and now I can't even find them. Like I cannot be the only person that loses all their stuff that's black. Like, I don't know where it is. So I have another black one. I have a brown one. I've got a gray one and a white one. So, boom. This was also at my doorstep in a box, of course. And I don't know what to expect. Like, was I expecting this box? Not really. I don't know. I can't keep up with all the emails, but this is Lily Lashes. I've never gotten a Lily Lashes package before. It is in this train case. Like what? 
Oh, they have a Sephora collection. That explains it. Look at these beautiful people. My goodness. Wow. If you ain't trying to wait to get your lashes from AliExpress, we got some options. Just says light faux mink. Okay. Well, these are really cute. Ow. Have you ever used Lily Lashes? I want you to comment and let me know. Ooh, this is a whole kit. Like a whole train case, though. Is that how we doing it? These are cute. They open. Ooh, okay. Now we're in business. I'm so mad. I just bought a case. It's the marble one from Amazon. Man, I wouldn't have needed it if this had came already. Oh, because this lights up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is a, it lights up. Ooh, you ready? Ooh, how cute. That is so, and it has three different, I'm so annoyed. This is so cute. This is 430, yeah. So I do believe that this is gonna be my color and I cannot wait to try this. And I also got Thick Mint because I know y'all wanna know what I think about it. Number 60, this is really deep. This is really deep already. I'm like, hello, contour. I mean, it's got warmth in it. I see some purple, but it definitely is giving me contour vibes, at least from my skin tone, but we gonna find out. I also got the skin tint. I've avoided watching anyone's skin tint video because when I do my own video, I don't want to be influenced by anybody else. I got the number 22. I did get a swatch of this in the store and this was the one that matched me the best so i hope that this one works out let me know if you've if you've tried this and if you want a video on this oh honey and i had to re-up on my shashido shiseido i think it's called sh shiseido but i say shashido because of a night um it's a nigerian song it's a it's an afrobeat song but this is my, the spf 50 clear stick it's great i love it they've upgraded the packaging i love it the gradient that wasn't on my original one i like it because it's clear it's clear there's no cast ain't nothing going on it twists up it's fun to use oh yeah this cap is different it's clear like it's kind of see-through I like it you got to make sure you're wearing SPF every single day SPF is gonna help you fight those those dark spots on your face it helps reduce signs of aging you just need to be wearing SPF even if you're a black girl it doesn't matter you need your SPF oh and honey you know I ride for Sol de Janeiro baby and I had to try this rising shower cream gel baby listen i know this is gonna be full of fragrance okay originally i wanted to get this for my trip to puerto rico but i took something else with me but i just had to come back for this one i had to come back and get her so she came in today i'm excited oh we gotta go easy with her i mean she is 12 ounces but she 13 ounces excuse me but she is you know she's good fancy you can't just be using her just willy-nilly you gotta go easy when you squeeze her on the sponge okay <laughs> Wow. 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 Wow.